Second oral question, Lord Holmes of Richmond. My Lords, I beg leave to ask a question standing in my name on the order paper. Hi, I'm Chris Holmes, Lord Holmes of Richmond. And today I ask the government a question on financial inclusion. It's been a subject I've been pressing them on for a number of years now because it blights so many lives, not just for the individuals who find themselves on the wrong side of financial inclusion, not just because of the economic impact on them, but it has economic, social, psychological impacts for all of us. It's simply about inclusion. If we're able to include everyone, necessarily everyone benefits. I particularly want to push the minister on the need for the Financial Conduct Authority, who are the financial regulator in this country, to have a have regard duty on financial inclusion, to really focus the regulators to push this issue more. I think it makes a lot of sense. Well, my lords, I'd absolutely agree um, with uh, the sentiments expressed uh, by my noble friend about the importance of um, financial inclusion. However, at present, the government's position remains that we believe the FCA's existing objectives and regulatory principles are already well aligned with the objectives of uh, financial inclusion. And we don't believe that a separate have regards to financial inclusion would necessarily lead to a different approach or tangible improvements over the current arrangements uh, to the aim that we all want to see, which is greater to financial inclusion and less exclusion. I got a, a warm response from the Minister, but it's certainly fair to say that more needs to be done. We need to keep pushing and certainly from my point of view, looking at how fintech, financial technology can also help to address some of the issues that have dogged our nation for decades. Much more we can do, much more I intend to do until we have a great level of financial inclusion. I don't think any of us should feel satisfied that we truly live in a society which we can call civilised.